Well, welcome back, you guys. We are here doing a little mini vlog. Baby, excited? Excited, y'all. <laughs> so, yes, guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the Bullock family here once again. And we're going to do a little mini vlog. Now, we are a little bit later, right? Yeah. We're going to be meeting up in, with family in the Eastern Shore, going to this exotic farm. So, we're super, super duper excited about that. So, um, yeah, so just keep on watching. <laughs> we are going into Tark Bay. I don't know if you can really hear me that well. Yeah, we're going into Target. Yep. <laughs> Target. Ava. Style and profile. <laughs> She didn't want to take off her glasses, guys. But when we go to the exotic forum, she'll definitely be wearing her mask, per usual. All right. <laughs> so we're just picking up a few things. Yep. You want to check see who's here? What? The stuff we're looking for. <laughs> You're funny. You're hilarious. Could be out. You never know. Well, hopefully they're not, because it's just the jello. It's jello, right? Are we yeah. getting the tropical kind? Yeah, tropical kind. <laughs> tropical fruit, whatever it's called, tropical. Tropical, tropical. <laughs> the favorite thing in jello. Yeah, and then probably drink or something. But yeah, we're not going to prolong you guys. We'll see you soon. there. I think I just hit something on the camera. All right, so babe, looks like you got your jello. Yep. The tropical punch one? Yep. So that's the one that Ava seems to love, guys. This one right here. All right, so what do I need? All right, so I do need to get this for sure. Uh, that looks like that was in the wrong spot. Super weird. Um, I don't, tr I don't trust that. We're gonna leave you right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna leave you there. That's the vanilla right there. Yeah, I see that. So that, that's, that looks a little bit more normal there. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm this looks really beat up. I hate to touch on all of these, but you know what? I'd rather be safe than sorry. I do need these sprinkles. Actually, Ava's birthday is November the 18th, so mommy's going to make some custom cupcakes for her. So I'm going to use these to embellish it. And I was looking for another, um, yeah, the hot pink probably won't taste that good, so that's a no. And I don't want to do unicorn. She's going to be a princess, y'all. A beautiful little princess. She's like that in real life, so yeah. All right, we are leaving Tarjay. <laughs> we got what we came for. We leave, we parked up here. Oh, this one? Yep. See you guys soon. <laughs> Ava, 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 Ava. Hey, babe. What's up? Huh? It's a little warmer than I thought it was going to be. It's only because we're bundled up, guys, with this mask, and I have a scarf on, and of course a leather jacket, and a turtleneck, so yes. Merlin, you don't know what kind of weather it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, that is so true. It's cold this morning. Now it's the sun's out. <laughs> the blood of Jesus. <laughs> but we made it to our destination, so we'll see you guys shortly. Uh-oh, booby. Too much air. Too much air. 
All right, so we are officially in the car and we are headed down to the beautiful Eastern Shore. Are you ready, babe? On our way. On the road again. On the road again. But yeah, look at that view. So gorgeous. Let me see here. Look at my booby. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah. And our booby, she's back there. <laughs> yeah, so we're on the road, guys. We're super, super duper excited. Traffic's not too bad either, so. But we're we're like early birds, so we get up pretty pretty early. Even when my to puppy's bed. off too. Yeah. He's used to getting up early. So I get tired so soon. Yeah, we both do. We both do. Yeah, we're excited just to see family and just embark on this journey of life. It's going to be so much fun. Family time is important to That's right. You make time for family. That's right. Always make time. Always. 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 Never, ever do you not. <laughs> yeah, there's no excuses for that. As a matter of fact, being that you brought that subject up, let's have a little heart to heart. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, um, my husband had this crazy, like, allergic reaction. Well, actually, they said it wasn't so much of an allergic reaction. They said it was poisonous, right? Food poisoning. Yeah, he got some food poisoning. It was uh, dead meat that grew on, bacteria grew on some dead meat that I, that I ate. Yeah, yeah. We had some Merlin crabs, some blue crabs, which is my favorite. So sometimes you can get a bad batch, and unfortunately, that's what happened to hubby. And um, I can say that it was the most um, gut wrenching experience that I've ever had. Um, just noticing and witnessing all the stuff that he was going through, because um, he was like breaking out in hives. His face looked really distorted. It just he just didn't even look like himself. Like I was super concerned. Concerned. I was like. So I called 911, called my mom and dad like super early in the morning. It was like maybe 12.40 or something. I was just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I actually ended up um, telling him to get into the bathtub because I had researched that it would make like the hives go down or whatever and like kind of relax him so he wouldn't be so focused on like the itching and everything. So yeah, uh-oh. Is it sun in your face? All right, we got to fix that. Okay, pause. But yeah, we had to take a little pause and fix it back there for Booby. Sun was like shining in her eyes or whatever, so. But yeah, it was so gut-wrenching. It was super scary. Like I said, he was all distorted. He didn't look like himself. Um, hives and just his face was just big. It was just, it was crazy. What was that? <laughs> but yeah, um. It was, it was a really crazy experience. But yeah, he was in the bathtub because I had just some research that it can, you know, kind of soothe it. See, if I, I've had hives myself before, and that's kind of like what you do, like get in the bathtub, soothe it. There's other stuff that you do, like take Benadryl. But um, we didn't have Benadryl on hand at the time, so yeah. So, so concerned. Wanna add to the story as well, babe? Oh, well, when I was in the tub, um, I started to get like really, really cold. So I started shaking. And babe actually warmed the water up a little bit, but then I got really, really high, uh, yeah. lightheaded. It was like you were overheating or something. Yeah. Really, really lightheaded. And, um, yes, Ava. So anyway, I got really, really lightheaded and I tried to stand up, but when I stood up, I blacked out. You can feel in what happened there. When I oh yeah, up. when he blacked. That was the part there. I was just like, oh Jesus, no, you are not leaving me. Uh-uh. No, so he was like almost like when he um, blacked out, like initially, like he said, um, he was like overheating, whatever. It was like he actually banged his head on like the back of the tub really hard. And then once he got down in that placement, he started like shaking, almost like almost like a seizure or something was going on. So I was super concerned at that point. Um, but I was able to wake him up, you know, after him being unconscious for a little bit. And I was like, you know what, we gotta get you out of here. We gotta cool you off. So 
took him in the living room. It was cooler in there, temperature wise. And that's when, boom, he falls again. And um, at that point, I was just like, Lord, I don't know what to do. I just kept praying. I called on the name of Jesus, like, right. Lord, you know, keep him. That's the only thing that I could do is just call on his name. And I had my mother and father praying as well. So, but like I said, I was kind of torn about the whole 911 thing, especially like with COVID and everything. And um, hubby was like, after he did come to himself, he didn't really um, want to go to the hospital at the time. Is that right? Right. Because, you know. Ava? Everything good? So, like with, with uh, going to any local traditional hospital, it would be like high traffic or whatever. And that traffic can have a lot of sick people, like COVID people. In my mind, it would have to be a military hospital where it's controlled traffic and people just coming in for check-ins. But at the end of the day, our faith was in Christ, so we just kept praying. Yeah. And I really just believe that, you know, that's all we needed. We just needed God to fix it. There wasn't nothing no man or anybody can do about what was going on anyway. Yeah. It had to be Christ, and Christ came and healed me. He did. He's a living testimony. I got my baby here, and he ain't going nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> so... But yeah, it was really scary though. I have to say, like, I just didn't know what to do. And even when, like, he was starting to feel better, like his hives started coming down and everything like that, and he started to look more like himself again, I was still concerned. So I stayed up to like five o'clock in the morning, just watching over him and just just making sure that he was okay, because I just didn't want anything to happen to him at all. So, but I just thank God for just keeping him, and He is here to share that story today. Alive, so yeah. So that's a testimony. So that's our heart to heart. Like, love on your loved ones. Like, call them, check up on them, just be there for them. Because you just never know what's going to happen day to day. If anyone had told me that he was going to have such a bad reaction to those crabs, I would have been like, you know what? We're not eating them today. Because that experience was just bananas. Like, I don't wish that upon anybody. My foe's enemy, no one because you just don't want to see your loved one like suffering like that and it actually when you feel helpless like there's nothing that you can do about it but i just thank god for just keeping him and keeping us so i just thank him for that so we just wanted to share that with y'all and um be encouraged and even when you're going through like you know tested trials and tribulations just know that it's going to work for your good it's going to work out for your good so troubles don't last always but just make sure that you hold tight to your family and just love on you know, your loved ones because it's necessary. Okay, Ava, are you trying to say something in the vlog too? What do you want to say? But also okay. too, uh, this power in the name of Jesus. Yes. When you don't know what's going on, mm -hmm. when you're feeling sick in your body, mm -hmm. I know a healer, and his name is Jesus Christ. Call on the name of Jesus and everything will be all right. That's right. He doesn't do anything but fail. That's right. That's all I have to say about that. Yeah. So on that note, guys, we are going to check in a little bit later um, once we get down with family and everything, and we'll show you like this exotic form. So we're excited. Plus, Booby back here. She looks like she um. Yeah, she looks a little little time with us. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope that encouraged you guys. Um, it is a testimony, and um, I just thank God that He's able to live to share it with you all. So yeah, love on your family. Just love them. All right, God bless. We'll see you soon. guys look at that line that's how it is when the food is amazing <laughs> mm. but it's gonna be worth it all 
right guys, so we have officially arrived and look what's outside of our car here. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this. A big bird or something. Outside of our car. I'm just, babe, are we getting out the car? That's why we're here. <laughs> this is crazy. Well guys, stay tuned.